Hello all, welcome back to TS Info Technologies YouTube channel. So in this video, I will cover how to get uh, values from a data table by using the Power Automate desktop flow. This video will cover the three ways to do that, like how to get the data table values by using the row index and the column index and by using a row index and a column name and by using the loop actions. These are the three ways I am going to cover in this video. So quickly open the Power Automate desktop app. Here I have opened my Power Automate desktop app. I have already designed the flow because it's time consuming. So I will explain the flow here in a step by step. You can search the actions under the actions pane. After searching, you can drag and drop it into the workspace. To create a new data table, take create new data table action. And then when you open it, when you click on this edit, then it will ask for you to add the values into the data table. You can add the columns by clicking on this add new column icon and then uh, to add a new row uh, bottom you can see one more icon that is add new row icon. So when you click on it, it will add. This is the data table I have taken which has the invoice details uh, where invoice number vendor name amount date payment method approver name and the status so uh, here you can uh, i wanted to retrieve the values from this data table uh, as you can see the data table the where the row index start with the zero so to retrieve the values from the data table we have to uh, provide the row index as well as the column index uh, similarly the column index also will start with the zero means uh, the invoice will the column index 0 represents invoice number and 1 represents vendor name and so on. Payment method and the status value. If I wanted to retrieve the values from the first item that is invoice number 1, uh, payment method and the status value. Let's see how we can retrieve these values by using the row index and the column index. Click on save and then add a set variable action. In the set variable action, I have renamed the variable name to status payment and then here I took uh, the variables with the row index and the column index. Here I want two values from the first row. Uh, so I have given it in the format with the comma. I will show you how to give this. When you click on this variables, it will open the variable pane and in the pane you can see the data table when you click on the data table it will add the data table variable and next to it provide the provide the square brackets so the first one will be for the uh, row index and the second bracket will be for the column index uh, here the row index is the first row so i should have to give the row index uh, which is a zero so i have provided it as a zero the payment method is in fourth column so this should have to retrieve the payment method and then comma and the status value again in the same way take the data table and take two square brackets here is also the provide the row name row index as a zero and the column index here will be a six because the status value is present in the column of six uh, so click on save let me run the flow and say let me save and run the flow and show it to you so now the flow ran successfully and now we have to open the status payment variable uh, the status payment variable when you open the flow variables you can see the status payment variable with the values of payment method and the status value for the first item present in a data table this is how to retrieve the values in a data table now let's move on to the second way that is how to get the data table values by using the row index and the column value so i wanted to retrieve this invoice numbers three values let's see how we can do with the column name by providing it with the column names you uh, you can see here the item three value who has the row index of two so we have to provide the row index two with the column names as vendor name 
payment method approval name status uh, when you provide next to the row index and the column name then it will retrieve the data table values uh, let me add one more set variable action inside the set variable action i have renamed this variable from the data table of invoice three item i wanted to retrieve vendor name amount payment method and the status here for all the data table row it will be a two because these are the values of item three that is invoice number three i will show you how to take this variables for the first for the first one similarly you can do it for the all the three options so when you click on this select variable under the data table select the data table and in the data table you need to provide the square brackets to retrieve that values two square brackets in the first square bracket we need to provide row index here the row index will be two for the invoice item three then we wanted to provide the column name to provide the column name we should have to take the column name in a single quotes here it is a vendor name so i will take vendor name and close the single quote click on save now save and test the flow uh, it is a variable and the flow will execute and it will start running let me open this item three values variable on the right side you can see the flow variables when you open the item three values you can see the values of the vendor name amount payment method and the status of item 3 that is invoice number 3 this is one more way to get the values from the data table let's move on to the final way to get the data table values in a power automate desktop flow now let's see how to get the data table values with by using the loop action uh, so this is the data table here i wanted to retrieve the vendor name for invoice number 4 so for the invoice number 4 the row index will be 3 this this is the value i wanted to get so let's see uh, how to do that after create new data table action add a set variable action in the set variable action we are taking the row index manually because the power automate desktop flow won't provide any row index dynamically so we should have to indicate the row index manually uh, so i took this set variable and uh, configured the value to zero and then click on save next to that take for each loop for each loop action and in the for each loop action the value to iterate should have to take the data table data table variable because it will iterate over the items present in a data table and it will store it and the items values will be stored in the current item and then click on save inside to uh, for each loop add a if condition in the if condition in the if condition i wanted to match the row index row index of the data table uh, for the in for the invoice number four so i have to take here the first operand as the row index variable see the row index variable and then equals to uh, provide the operator as equals to uh, and then the second operator will be three because it should have to match the row index of 3 and then click on save inside that inside the if condition set the variable inside the if condition add a set variable action that will retrieve the vendor name row index when it matches the condition provided in the if condition let me show you how to take it uh, take the current item this current item is coming from the for each loop current item and then with the single bracket provide the column name that is vendor name within a single quote and then click on save next to the if condition take a increase variable action where it will increase the row index that we have given manually and then increase by one and click on save this will increase the row index value provided here each time when the flow runs 
each time for each item when it runs it will increase the row index of that item so this is the complete flow now let's let's save and run it now now let's see the value of the let's see the value of the vendor name provided by this variable uh, let me run the flow Now let's open the vendor name variable. Uh, click on the vendor name. You can see it is Orion Technologies. When you open the data table for the fourth for the fourth invoice number, the vendor name is Orion Technologies. This is how to get the data table values by using the Power Automate desktop flow. For more interesting topics like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching and see you with one more video tutorial next week